Hello Elisadat Authors and welcome to this video on branding your project. Here I'm going to show you how you can create a new brand style and apply it to your project. Here I am in one of my current projects. You can see it does already have a style applied to it. It's the core Elisadat style. But today I want to do something visually different. I could do this by going through page by page and element by element, making visual changes that way. But it would take a very long time. It might introduce some inconsistencies and it wouldn't be very easy to maintain in the future. It'd be much better if I could make these changes on a global level, which is something that I can do in the styles area. Here in the styles area, I can see all of the existing styles which are available to me, including the one that's currently applied to my project. When it comes to creating a new brand style, I could have done it when I set up the project from the start area. However, as my project already exists, there are two options available to me. I could use an existing style if I just wanted to make a small change like to the logo or the font, in which case I could duplicate it here, make my changes and save it. However, today I want to make something a bit more visually different, so I'm going to start from scratch and create a brand style. This has opened up a style wizard, which is going to take me through a few simple steps to build my style. If I wanted to base that style on my website, then I could just add the website address in here and Elucidat would take a look at that, pick out the key information and build a style around it. However, if you want to use your brand guidelines or maybe do something a bit more unique, then you can also do that manually here, which is what I'm going to do. Within the wizard on the left hand side, I'm going to be asked to make a few decisions about what I want my style to look like. And on the right hand side, you'll see that there's a preview panel, which is going to show me what that looks like as I go. So I'm going to start by uploading my logo. And once that's uploaded, you'll see that that will appear in the preview window here, which is great. Next, I'm going to be asked to put in my brand colours and I'm just going to type in the hex codes here. If you do have your brand guidelines with you, of course, you can just copy these across. It's also possible to use the colour picker or if you wanted to use the RGB values, they're available to you too. So once I've put my colours in, I can decide where I want them to appear within my style. So I'm just going to change those down here. I think I'll change the header as well. And as you see, as I'll go, you can see how these look on the right hand side in the panel on the various different elements of my project. You might also have noted this section here. This is telling us that in the background, the wizard is checking our text color combinations to make sure that the, they meet accessibility guidelines, which is really useful and very important and great that it's doing it in the background without us having to think about it too much. On the next page, it's gonna ask me to choose for my font combinations. I can hit choose here from the popular font combinations. I'm going to pick this one, I think, with a nice bold heading and then some matching body text. If I had custom fonts, then it's also possible to upload those. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Finally, all I have to do is give my new style a name. I'm going to do that here and then I'm ready to save and finish. Now we're back in the styles area and you can see that my new style is waiting for me. It will have a preview like the others, but that takes a little while to process. So in the meantime, let's take a look at what we can do if we want to customise our brand a little bit further. So I'm going to go in and choose edit style. So here you can see all of the values and style choices that I've made have been applied. I can tweak them further if I wanted to. And as I mentioned, if you do have custom fonts, then you can upload them here. The style wizard took me through the core elements of my brand, but if I want to customise my style further, then I can do that in these advanced tabs. Each of these have got a lot of detail in them and really allow you to customise your style to quite a granular level. For example, if I wanted to go into the navigation, I could tweak some of the values here. I'm going to make my header, I think, a much bigger, bigger font. And on the right hand side, you can see exactly what that's going to look like in the preview window, just like in the wizard itself. The different tabs have different details in them that you can change. For example, you can change what the styling looks like on different interactions. I'm not going to go through all of that here, but I would really recommend that you do familiarise yourself with what's in these advanced tabs, as it will help you understand what you can change at a global level rather than having to change it on a manual basis. 
It will also help you create a brand style which is really customised to what you want it to look like. Now I'm happy with those changes, I'm just going to save them and I can close that and go back to my style area. Now this is ready for me to select to apply to my project and I can go back into my authoring area to see what that's going to look like. So you can see here it's quite visually different to how it was before and if I toggle through the pages I can see how my branding has been applied to the different areas and the different interactions. If when I'm looking through I do think something needs to change, for example if I wanted to change the colour of this question option text then I could do that, go back into the styles area and make changes again there. So to close I've got some top tips for you. Firstly, if you do have some, make sure that you've got your brand guidelines at the ready. They're really useful for referencing your core colours and fonts, and you can even copy and paste the values directly into the style panel. Secondly, remember that you can duplicate existing styles, so you don't have to start from scratch. If you only need to make a few minor tweaks, then you can quickly adapt an existing style for your needs. Thirdly, let your team know if you've created a style they can reuse. Anything that you create within your account can be used as a style across all of the projects within your account. So it's a really time-saving way of applying visual styling. So thanks for watching this video. Next up, we'll be showing you how you can edit your styling on the page, building on the brand style that you've created. We'll also talk through some of the use cases for why you might want to do that.